The Iranian foreign minister has said that sanctions imposed on Tehran are likely to be lifted later today, but the nuclear watchdog for the UN is yet to make the announcement. American officials say steady progress has been made towards confirming that Iraq's nuclear program is exclusively peaceful. Our correspondent, Bethany Bell, joins us from the UN in Vienna now. Now, Bethany, we've been hearing, and, and you've been across this, that this announcement is imminent, really. Yes, we understand uh, that the IEA is preparing to issue its report verifying that Iran has done everything it said it would under the nuclear deal agreed with the six world powers. Hasn't been issued yet, but we understand it's coming quite soon. Now, um, this is the result of a historic nuclear deal that was done between the six world powers and Iran in the summer, but to put an end to more than a decade-long row over Iran's nuclear program. Program. The international community was worried that Iran was trying to make a nuclear weapon, a charge Tehran denied. Now, under that deal, Iran promised to massively scale back sensitive parts of its nuclear work in return for sanctions relief. And that is what we expect is, will come today, that with the announcement by the IEA that Iran has complied, the sanctions, many of the sanctions, nuclear-related sanctions on Iran will be lifted and that will pour billions of dollars back into the Iranian economy. Mm. OK, Bethany, many thanks. Bethany Bell for us. Now, Iran's foreign minister, Javad Zarif, has said international sanctions against Tehran will be lifted today. He spoke after arriving in Vienna, where he's due to meet the U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry. The U.N.'s nuclear watchdog, the IAEA, is expected to report that Iran has scaled back its nuclear activities to comply with this landmark agreement, which was reached last July. Bethany Bell is in Vienna, where the report is due to be released in the next few hours. And Bethany, I mean, given the fractious nature of relations between the West and Iran for decades. This sounds like quite a big moment. This will be a big moment. When the IAEA, the UN's nuclear inspectors, issue the report, they're expected to confirm that Iran has complied with its obligations under the nuclear deal, and that will pave the way for the lifting of sanctions, the international sanctions, nuclear-related sanctions on Iran imposed by the European Union, by the United Nations and the United States. So this is a very, very big moment. And of course, it comes after um, those years of uh, row over Iran's nuclear ambitions. The international community was concerned Iran was trying to develop a nuclear weapon. That was a charge Tehran uh, vehemently denied. Uh, but what we are expecting today is um, the announcement by the IEA that Iran has complied, but it hasn't come yet. We're waiting. Bethany, thanks very much. Bethany Bell there uh, in Vienna for us. I pay. Iran's foreign minister says he expects international sanctions against his country in place for over a decade to be lifted today. Javad Zarif and U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry have arrived in the Austrian capital, Vienna, where a U.N. report on Iran's nuclear program is expected to give a green light to loosening of sanctions. Bethany Bell is in Vienna, where the report is due to be released in the next few hours. And there must be a great deal of optimism. Uh, neither John Kerry nor Iran's foreign minister would bother to make the trip if they didn't think something important was about to happen, Bethany. Yes, the expectation is that the IEA will say that Iran has fulfilled its part of its obligations under this historic nuclear deal that was agreed uh, in July. Um, that was when Iran promised to massively scale back the sensitive parts of its nuclear program in return for sanctions relief. And once this report comes out, then <coughs> that is the point where the sanction relief kicks in. Though many of those nuclear-related sanctions imposed by the EU, the UN and the United States. Bethany, uh, do you think then that uh, the politics of both Iran domestically and the United States domestically will make this a fairly easy ride or do you foresee continuing difficulties for both the Obama administration and President Rouhani because they've got very serious critics of this policy at home? 
there are very serious critics of the policy on both sides, as you say. But I think, you know, at the moment, for the moment, the Iranians, uh, the, the government is saying they're expecting an enormous uh, amount of money to come back because of the relief of these sanctions. Uh, that is something that they help will expect them. There are those who say, of course, that um, once this deal expires, what is to prevent Iran from taking up its nuclear work again, those sensitive nuclear activities that cause the rest of the world so much worry? So, yes, people will continue to watch this very carefully. But this is where things like the IEA, the UN's nuclear inspectors, come in. They say that under the terms of this deal, they will have far more uh, ability, if you like, to look into Iran's nuclear program, to see what's going on, and that that, they say, uh, should help ease concerns. Bethany, thanks very much. Bethany Bell there.